We did it guys. I have arrived at Blade Show. Let's do this. All right, what's up guys? Just uh, now leaving my hotel, headed to Blade. My hotel is right across the street. Check it out. There's the Cobb Galleria. Now, how I actually get over there, I'm not entirely sure. I think I need to walk down here. I really want to get over to the venue because it's already 2.30 and my friends that I'm meeting at Blade have both already texted me and told me that they spent all their money and got their grails. So I would say that comparatively I'm running late. So I'm going to wait and probably do lunch in a little bit with my friends. But I really want to get my tickets and get into the show so that I can see it. Maybe buy a buy a friggin' knife. Um, all right, cool, so I'll see you there. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Uh, excellent, I don't know how this works, but I bought a ticket online months ago. Sid? Yep. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Let me get my ticket real quick. There you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Awesome. What'd you get? There's way too much shit. I got... Oh my god. <laughs> so, oh my god, look at the colors. Oh, and it's, and it's the reverse, I'm going to do very often apparently. So, I, got right. the, I guess that was the first draw they had. I was going to say, it seemed pretty early to me. Yeah, so that was lucky as Congrats, shit. man. Yeah. That's amazing. Are you going to keep it or flip it? I'm going to keep it. Yeah. I've been wanting one of these for so freaking yeah. long. And then a react. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. Package, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How they apparently do a blade show. I actually went for one, huh? Yeah. Okay, I saw so that it's one. It's the K4 with this insane grind. Can I film it? Yeah, sure. Do you want to say hi to the internet? Sure. Hey, internet. Hey, guys, it's Sid. <laughs> That's awesome, see, man. See, this is the K4. Here, let me see it. Yeah. Oh, I love the uh, tumbled finish. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I, I picked I get it, it up and I, I get it. I yeah. get it. I get it. <laughs> I picked it up. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of these. Yeah. Okay. How's it going? Hey, it's Jake, guys. up guys it is the beginning of day two of blade I am just now leaving my hotel I left my bag at the hotel uh, even though I checked out so that 
Uh, I don't have to drag that around with me all day. Running on up to uh, the Cobb Galleria and uh, I don't know, I pretty much spent all my money yesterday, but who, who knows? Uh, I think right now, let's see, it's 10.30. I'm running a little bit late. I told everybody I'd be there at 10.30, but uh, I gotta run to uh, the Gavco booth and see how much I got outbid on some of those. Um, and then I gotta run up to HEA Designs and say hi to Sam and uh, check out his new antidote in Poison. So stay tuned. Oh wow, this is so light. Holy cow. Yeah, this is a... Feel that. I wanna feel this one. Oh yeah. Is this one? That one even that. What? What's up? How's it going, Arukas? Good to see you again. Glad to you, sir. Bringing some more friends by to see your beautiful work. Thank These are you. amazing. Thank you. Can't show you. Can't show it. All right. I'll cut it out. I'll cut it out. It doesn't actually no. exist. It's yeah. Isn't the action on that ridiculous? You can just grab the pivot; it'll close on its own. Oh, yeah, I can. yeah. It's like an automatic closer. Like, yeah. reminds me of a Rask from Grimsmo. Oh, I saw one of those the other day. Yeah. Wow. That oh closes against gosh. gravity just it like does. the Rask does. That's I've never. Crazy. Wait, where Rask was, was the only knife. It was here. Yeah. yeah. Full size Tribeca. Got the uh, mini Rasong. Get back and go. Absolutely. <laughs> Customers have kindly offered me to let them have my, I use their customs so people can check right. them out. So okay. you want to see my action? That's kind of what I'm known for. Flip it. Oh. Let it flip Got it. it. So these are owned and then oh. people just brought yeah. them to show off. Yeah. Very nice. You close it and see what they, what they talk about as far as the, so that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm known for, you know. Holy shit. This is why I'm not a knife thing. Yeah. That's why all the crazy people make all these yeah, I got you. Form it and then coat it. Now, I tell you what, the probably look cool is a... Uh, oh, this is Snyder Knife. Yes. Hey, what's, what's going Dustin. on? Tyler, nice, nice to meet you. Jake. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, man. Dustin, I've come this close so many times. This is... You can't buy this? This is an open bid? That's an open bid, yes. Ah, you're killing me. Be wary of your eyes. Parts of this anvil will come off and go for it. Come off, I felt the chunks come off on me. Now you see that this blade. No. Holy shit. Jeez, a that real is weapon wicked. must be able to cut through steel armor and still be sharp. Sharp enough to get to the squishy bits underneath and disable your opponent. If all your nice expensive sword can do is bang dents in somebody's pretty armor and make them angry, use a stick. It's cheap. <laughs> yeah. Right? What is up, everybody, and welcome to the end of the Blade Show vlog. Uh, I just wanted to take a minute to sit down and um, finally collect my thoughts and just talk to you guys a little bit about um, the experience that I had at Blade and go over everything that I got and just kind of end this vlog. So if you did watch this far, um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It means a lot. And uh, I had so much fun at Blade. I got to meet a ton of people, obviously dozens of makers and all kinds of other fun people as well. Um, I did want to give some quick shout outs to the people that I hung out with. I did write down some names because I do have a terrible memory. Um, but you guys know who you are. So uh, seeing Sid, Jake, Will, Toby, Austin, AKA Epic Snuggle Bunny, Matt from Slice FK, um, and Scott from Blade Junk, Blade Junkie was uh, really awesome. I loved hanging out with you guys. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate Scott uh, letting me take a chance at getting one of the Gavco auction pieces, which we'll look at in a moment. Um, so thanks so much for hanging out, guys. It was a total pleasure. I can't wait to see you guys next year. So much fun. Um, obviously, I am not going to sit here and list all the makers that I met. It would take forever. So check out the description down below if you want to see all of the makers that I met, or at least all the ones that I could remember that I met. Um, in case you want to ask me any questions about them or what they had a blade or anything like that So check the description down below for a list of makers um, So let's just jump into the blade show hall uh, Starting off. I did get the brand new HA designs uh, Handkerchief which I haven't even opened yet, but I did get to see it opened at blade Looks like I got a 
sticker as well. Meeting Sam at Blade was uh, incredibly amazing, and I enjoyed every minute of it. He's got these, uh, sorry for all the crinkly noises. He's got these new handkerchiefs, which are wicked sweet. You can see it's the uh, HEA Design logo splashed all around the front, uh, and then he does have the Sabretooth logo on the back. And it's kind of like, uh, it's not like other handkerchief um, materials that I felt before. This one's pretty silky smooth. So uh, this is gonna make a great background for like photos and everything, because it does have a sheen to it. Um, and oh wow, I'm actually seeing, if you hold it up to the light, I've got natural light coming in through. You can actually see the uh, HEA logos through the material. So that's kind of cool. Um, so that's obviously the smallest thing that I got. Uh, I did get this Gavco shirt, which I am repping right now. Uh, meeting Mike was super amazing, and uh, there will definitely be a separate video where we just look at his booth and everything, but um, meeting Mike was such an honor, and I was super stoked to be able to pick up a shirt and start representing. Uh, next up, I did pick up this limited edition Olight, um, which I haven't opened yet. So uh, I think it's full titanium construction. I didn't actually read anything about it. I picked it up and I was like, this is totally the flashlight that I want. Um, so I did get this uh, Gavco custom fixed blade. This was in, uh, this is a collaboration with whoever this logo is. Um, he told me three times what the name is, as did my friend Jake. I'll have to double check. Uh, I'm not remembering what the name of that brand is right now. Um, but then you can see we have the Gavco logo as well. Uh, and so Mike did the blade. He did the grind and uh, the convex sharpening and everything like that. And uh, then the handle was done by the other maker, which as you can see, there is a bit of purple through the liner there and that made it a no-brainer for me. So let's use this thing to uh, open up this Olight because I do want to show it to you guys. Uh, I picked up like the base Olight uh, and it was really light and everything, which I appreciated. And I was like, oh, this is nice. Um, and then I picked up this thing and I was like, ooh, yeah. Feels uh, solid like a rock. So yeah, this thing is super epic. It's like a really dark gunmetal gray with the beautiful blue edges. And uh, it doesn't work. So I guess I got to uh, take a look at the battery or whatever, see if there's any like, um, yeah, this thing, this little plastic bit. Let's get that out of there. So I've never owned an Olight before. Obviously, lots of you have. Um, I haven't really had a flashlight, which I've been asking people, hey, recommend a flashlight for me. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and then getting to actually pick up and hold this at Blade uh, uh, was super, I, it was like a no-brainer. So I was really happy to pick up something limited edition. Um, I think this is full titanium, but it might be a different material. I'll actually have to look at the box. But this thing is sweet. Definitely worth the money. Um, okay, so that was the fixed blade. Now let's get into the more serious haul here. So first up, we have the Todd Bag uh, Glimpse 7.0 production model. Um, and for those of you who don't know, so this is the Steelcraft series. Just like the mini bodega and the full-size bodega, those are made by Riate the Steelcraft versions of those, uh, as is the Quaken, I believe. I think that's Riate as well. Uh, Todd actually made a deal with Wii Knives for this particular run, uh, or for this particular model. Uh, so this is still coming from China, um, and as you all know, over the last couple of years, we have come to really appreciate the three big makers in China. You've got Wii, Riate, and um, somewhat to a lesser extent, Kaiser. Uh, but Kaiser does a lot of great stuff. They're just not quite in the same echelon as Wii and Riate. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is made by Wii Knives. You, it's no secret that I'm a total fanboy of Wii Knives. So uh, being able to own something that was made in collaboration between Wii and Todd Bag, two of my favorite makers, uh, especially two of my favorite production makers, uh, was a no-brainer. Now, they only had 100 of these. 
It is the first run of 100, and let's see if you can actually read that there. I don't know if it'll focus. But uh, it does say first run of 100 right here, and then you've got S35BN on the back. Um, and so this is the black G10 with carbon fiber inlay, and this was the only version of this knife that I was interested in. Um, they had carbon fiber inlaid into, I believe, green G10, uh, which wasn't, it was like a, it wasn't even like a forest green, it was like a moss green. Uh, and I didn't really like that. And then they had just regular G10 with like G10 inlays. So like blue with a black G10 inlay, I think, and, and stuff like that. And none of that really interested me. Um, I'm not a big G10 guy, as you guys know. So the fact that the carbon fiber inlay from a distance almost passes as a full carbon fiber knife. Um, and even when you do look at it up close and see the G10, you know, it looks pretty good because the, they did such a good job with the carbon fiber inlay um that uh that it looks good so i actually had my buddy sid um be able to pick this up for me with the early bird because i didn't actually go in until friday uh and i would th these were all sold out by the time i got to the booth so um thank you so much sid i really appreciate you stopping by early on to pick yourself up one of these and to get me one as well because i feel super honored to own one of the first run of 100. the knife is super sick i mean as you can see classic Wii fashion Drop shut, it's perfect, it's amazing. So let's get on to the really, really big stuff. Let's start with this Andre Thorburn L36M. You can see there, pretty wicked. We've got the blue and purple uh, leaf design on the bolster. You have the custom milled clip, and then of course the electric lightning strike carbon fiber that he is known for. Um, and pfft, this thing is magnificent. Definitely look out for the video on this knife. And this thing has a really cool story behind it. I don't want to spoil it now in this uh, video, and I definitely want to get to the end of this vlog so you guys can uh, go check out some other stuff. But this has a really great story, and I'm really excited to share it with you. Next up, we do have this Gavco uh, one-off. It's a, it's a full custom. This is one of his auction pieces. He had two auction pieces. He had the full Timascus one that I was super interested in. I bid on it twice and I eventually got outbid. Honestly, looking back on it, I probably could, if I didn't get this knife and the next knife that I'm gonna show you, I could have afforded to get the Timascus one, but I don't know, to me, I really wanted to walk away with as many amazing things as I could instead of like really putting all my eggs in one big basket. And even though that knife was so perfect for me and it was just the right colors and just the right shade and just the right finish. And it was really like a knife that I almost felt was made for me. It was like exactly what I've been asking for since day one really uh, was a full time Ascus Gavco. And he just did such an amazing job with it. But I think it would have cost me about two grand, which wasn't totally, unaffordable considering I spent like around 4,500 all together, but um, I'm, I'm just happy with what I walked away with. I, I liked that I got more things rather than just like one big thing. Um, so what we have here is his slightly not as expensive uh, auction piece. We can see here it is a black Timascus clip. You have blue titanium liners, which I still have to figure out if they're actually anodized or if they have a coating. I almost think they might be like coated in something because it's a very matte finish. Um, but it just might be that uh, Mike is amazing at doing stuff and it is in fact just anodized. But I do need to ask him about that. And then the knife is completely surrounded in full zirconium liners with milled speed holes that have a double bevel and double color. Uh, it is on blue backspacers, or sorry, uh, standoffs. I would have preferred a milled backspacer, but it is what it is. Um, and this thing is super sick. It does have the spinner design blade, which is not my favorite blade from Mike, but uh, I think it works. I think it works well on this knife. So this thing is super sick. Uh, this was a score that I got. Um, I was bidding on it, well, I'll leave the story for the actual video, but yeah, I got the uh, Gavco auction piece which was super sick. And then last but certainly not least, uh, the most expensive piece that I bought was this. 
Uh, this is a Larevo Knives Mini Tribeca. And you can see here we have a blasted zirconium bolster uh, pre-ban ivory scales, which uh, I will talk about in the video of this knife because I'm actually opposed to ivory. Um, so there's a few different reasons that this ended up being something that I purchased. So definitely look out for the video on this where I explain my reasoning behind buying the ivory. Um, and then on top of that, you have full San Mai Damascus all the way around. I really like the lock side. Uh, it's, you can really see the San Mai here. And uh, he's got the San Mai clip, which you can see matches the shape of the knife itself. And then the San Mai backspacer, which is raised a little bit so that you can actually see the etch, which I really appreciated. This thing is a complete and total monster. It has chemical green uh, titanium liners which was the main piece that really caught my eye on this knife. Um, and it just, it feels like a tank. Uh, it's got an amazing action, no stick or anything. And just in your hand, it just fills it out. It's so thick and uh, monstrous. So this thing is an absolute beast of a knife. So definitely keep an eye out for the full video on that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Putting together this vlog uh, was a lot of fun. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know this isn't normal content necessarily, um, but uh, let me know what you think. Please leave a comment down below telling me how you uh, like this video or if you didn't like it. Um, be sure to leave a like if you did like it indeed. Um, of course, if you guys want to send me knives for lovely loners, you can do so by emailing me at tovarshworks at gmail.com. Please follow me on Instagram at tovarshworks if you want to see awesome pictures of all these amazing knives. Um, and I just really want to thank you guys for watching. It was such an honor and a privilege to be able to go to Blade. I really hope the rest of you can join me next year. It was so much fun. Um, and I'm still just, I'm barely settled in. Uh, I'm home on Sunday right now recording this and I'm just overwhelmed. The memories are constantly flooding back and I just can't even like begin to reconcile everything that happened over the course of the last 48 hours. It's just been absolutely phenomenal. So thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time.